<laughs> hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about the vacuum of space. <laughs> what is a vacuum and is space really a vacuum? Well, the definition of a vacuum is a thing that sucks up dirt. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But seriously, the real definition of a vacuum, like what we're talking about, is a void of matter. It comes from a Latin word that means vacant. So there you go. A vacuum is nothingness. And space pretty much seems like nothingness, right? I mean, besides the stars and planets and space rocks, it's basically empty. But that's the thing. It's basically empty. Not completely empty. There are particles in space. NASA says there's about one to 10 particles per cubic meter. So that's a, a really big area and not many particles. There are also protons and electrons in space. That's the radiation, the things that humans and electronics don't like, but it's very low density. Some places it's a lot higher, so we have to be careful. The space in space <laughs> is actually called the interstellar medium, and it's a plasma of hydrogen and helium. These atoms, the particles in space, are super spread out, which creates this almost emptiness. And this almost emptiness creates extremely low pressure. Fluids, like gases and liquids, like to flow from high to low pressure. In low pressure, the fluids can disperse or spread out more, like this balloon. There is higher pressure on the inside, and if I let it go, the air wants to go to the low pressure outside. <laughs> That's like space too. If there is a hole, hopefully not, in a spaceship or in a spacesuit, the air wants to rush out into the extremely low pressure of space. It's not a good thing. So what causes this low pressure space vacuum thing? Well, it's gravity. Matter attracts matter the things that everything is made up of. So the majority of these particles, the matter, group together to form our stars, our planets, and our space rocks. Now this grouping of matter created higher gravity, and all of the space left in between the big pieces of matter, the space in between the stars and planets and space rocks, is basically empty, giving us the <laughs> vacuum of space. So space is not a perfect vacuum. It's close, but it is better than any vacuum we can create here on Earth. We can try our hardest, but we aren't able to create a space vacuum. We can suck as much air as possible out of the chambers, yet a space vacuum is definitely going to be better. So if space is essentially a vacuum, why doesn't it suck up all of the atmosphere on Earth and spread it out into space? Well, the answer again, is gravity. Gravity holds down our atmosphere. It's matter. And one last thing I want to leave you with is this. There is a vacuum in space. Seriously, the astronauts living on the International Space Station, they have a special space vacuum to help clean up some messes. <laughs> now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of at what temperature does water boil at is A, 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this week's question is, what is the name of the rocket that launched the astronauts to the moon? Is it A, Falcon 9, B, Delta, C, Aries, or D, Saturn V? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.